Hey everybody, welcome back. It's the Binding of Isaac Repentance. We're still playing as the Tainted Loss while my mental can, you know, still handle it. We're looking for the negative mode pathway, which is what we did last time, slash trying to get to Mother. And just seeing whichever one, you know, we hit. As I said, aim for, you know, the stars, you might land on the moon instead. <laughs> I'm sure that's how this, the saying goes. Right. As usual, I've come to the conclusion now that popping the holy card immediately is the best form of action. Rather than trying to get a blank card. I'm not sure the character can get blank card. I thought they could, but maybe they can't. But card generation seems to be a really nice thing. So honestly, getting enough money for shops could be a really like, you know, powerful play. Gives me options to use their starter deck or get access to starter deck. Or deck of cards, you know, just things like this. Uh, Bloodshot Eye, not exactly what I was thinking of when I was thinking of, you know, good items. Birthright is an extra life. We probably would like an extra life. And a life that respawns as this character. We should shoot fire in this room. And I will do. I, I mentioned this again last time. I think Boss Rush, we basically need to get more Mega to make the dream happen. Or we'd have to just aim for it. I'd have to go in going like, okay, we're doing boss rush. So we're just going to rush through the game. We're going to do as few rooms as possible, which hope, you know, we get an AW. I think that will destroy my mental though, so I'm going to leave that for now. In favour of just trying to get some good runs. Right. Don't like where you spawn that fly. I can't actually shoot it. There we go. Honestly, keep doing this. This is fine. I can deal with this. Okay, that attack, I'd rather you didn't do. Also, feel free this run, by the way, game. You have given me a few runs now with some actual, you know, damage. Give me a run with some speed as well, please. I think I had 0.6 speed or something on the last run. That isn't going to cut it for this character. Unless I literally walk into a room and kill every enemy. Right, that's my second orbital. We're not going to be able to get birthright. I have no bombs. Say goodbye to it. Right. This is going to take me a while to get through this room safely. I should really hover around some rocks. Because then I'm literally safe on the rock. I think. He's, he says confidently, but then he's not confident anymore. I just don't know if these little red guys will jump over a rock. I don't think they will do, you know, into a scenario where they can't land. Man. Again, it's the second floor game. Do we really need this on the second floor? Okay. Now that I've started to clear some out, we're getting a little bit more space to work with. I know the question, I guess, that I have is, should I just pop pills? And the answer to that is probably no. But I probably will do. I think it's the wrong play if I was, like, you know, trying to win streak or something. But in terms of, you know, trying to get a run that, you know, goes to the end, why not pop early pills? In Right, I now know Infested is in my pill rotation. That's pretty good. The problem I guess for popping pills of this character is if I get a bad trip, it's basically run losing. I don't think I can get health down. I can get tears down though, which is another bad thing. But the more pills I know, the better I'm going to be in the long term, I guess. Especially if I get something like Placebo. Uh, honestly, if I got bombs, I think we should try and get into there. But I would need three to make it even happen. Okay, just keep walking into the fires. Thank you. There's one bomb. I might try to blow up the Tinted Rock as well for Small Rock. We did get it, I think, on the last run. And it's a pretty big get for us. By the way, I think I mentioned this as well before. I don't mind getting the orbitals of this character. I've never 
been like a particularly aggressive orbital player. Even when orbitals were like, you know, better. Because they got a slight nerf in repentance. But especially as this character, I'm just not gonna ever attempt to purposely do orbital damage. Because I'm gonna get hit. Well, they're still nice as a little shield. And that's kind of what I'm seeing them as. The potential to block, you know, a shot that otherwise might have hit me. Pretty good. Right, what's in here? Fate's reward is kind of average. I'll peep what's in here. Red stew is very nice. Glowing hourglass is also really nice. I feel... I don't know which one I prefer. Probably Glowing Hourglass. That gives me the ability that if I lose Holy Mantle to regain it again and, and like repeat the rune. Well, if only I had it already. Okay. I guess just pull up, you know, our big boy pants now and try and win the run. I will take a peep in here. Hopefully there's a crawl space and it hopefully gives me an item. Interesting room design. That just goes to the next floor. I don't think it's returns holy mantle, right? It just does nothing. Yeah, it does nothing. Okay. Uh, I could blow up the dresser as well for pills. The pills I don't think will kill me now. But we probably want to go fight a little haunt. I would have liked some more, you know, bombs to do this. Uh, I do not like being in the sandwich of the little haunts, I have to admit. Uh, you're the one that's going to just spawn spiders and shit me, aren't you? I think so. Oh, you do shoot! I, I didn't realise you still shot. Okay, two bombs at you. Uh, lucky holy card, please. No. And we also get two awful items. Uh, my shadow is awful. We'll take Ghost Baby. Reluctantly. And frankly, I... F I mean, Golden Hourglass now does nothing for me. Oh, sorry. Glowing Hourglass. I'm going to try and do some rooms and hope for a holy card to pay out. I assumed it would be nice. Probably would have saved me my holy card hit. Right, try and break, break these one at a time if you can. There we go. This is smart. This is Asteroids play. I don't know that. I don't know what the pro asteroids meta is. Maybe it's to blow everything up. Okay, you give me shoot the whoop. I'll take it. And we'll try one more room. Honestly, great shot. I didn't see it. You shot it straight through the fire. I, I saw it at the very, very last second. Honestly, I'm not too upset by that. That was not a great start to a run. It was definitely one where we weren't going on to the downpour anyway. Okay, just cool your jets a little bit as well. There's no need to rush through rooms. Right, something good. Please give me like a decent first item. Okay, this is decent. It's better than decent, in fact. Uh, PhD, honestly, I would take it. I really rate it as an item. It's not great for this character, as I mentioned, because a lot of the good pills are health-gaining pills, and we don't benefit from health. But we do benefit from stats, so like the speed-up pills would be very nice. It'd be very useful. You know what? I'm going to take a punt. I'm going to be disappointed. Uh, hold on. Shoot the poops. I'm telling you, PhD could be really good for us. The, the only nice thing about PhD for this character is potentially getting 24 hour energy, or 40 hour energy, sorry. And getting another great active item. Thank you. 
<laughs> I don't have a bomb. I should not have bombed the Tinted Rock. I should have bombed the Donation Machine. Now that would have been sensible. Because then I could get it. I mean, again, PhD is not going to make or break this run. It's just a nice thing to have. Hello again. We, we fought you once before. This time I'm actually stronger as well. Ooh, ooh. That was a bit of a spicy shot for me. Right. Just keep range now. And dance around him. And he can't hurt you. Perfect. We'll take an orbital. I can't make the five coins now. So we'll just go down. Ooh, good item win. Huh. Five bombs is nice. Anima Solar. Freezing enemies positions means they're going to get hit less. I think we take Anima Solar. Have to remember it's on space, not Q. That was a really bad dodge from me. Oh my god, I put you out of sync. <laughs> I don't know if is going to be incredible against bosses, I think. It's just going to be meager against everything else. Again, we'll just freeze an enemy. Honestly, congratulations. You outsmarted me then. That's Holy Mantle gone again. I'll take Bob's Bladder, Creepy Bombs. Keep this. Not right now. But I, I, I would consider that. Okay, Anima Solar is proving to be basically useless. <laughs> Which I'm, I'm not appreciating right now. It'll be fine as long as I start killing things a bit quicker, but I'm killing things too slowly right now to actually get in benefit. The coupon is better by like a hundred percent. This one is going to live and die by this boss trap room. Like in theory, Anima Solar is really good. The coupon lets me get Devil Deals. Like it'll let me steal a Devil Deal and get another one for free. Holy moly. I might want to kill one of you actually in an Anima Solar Cycle. Yeah, I can. Okay, it's proven to be decent then. Okay, well done for running onto the spikes. Anima Solar, you've been fantastic. I will keep you for the rooms, but as soon as I get to the boss, I'm swapping. Oh, you die. You die. You move. <laughs> there is a potential again with like a battery synergy that Animus Solar could be actually incredible for us. But honestly, the coupon has more future potential. Give me the coupon. Hopefully, we get a reroll somehow. But I don't know how we're doing that yet. Alright, we just killed you, admittedly, with Anima Solar. I will try and keep range from you. Alright, there's one down. Go down to the fly. Get a garbage item. <laughs> and then... Get no value off the coupon, brilliant. Doesn't help against, you know, devil deals where there's only one item. We can't go onto the alt path with this. This is actually trash. So I'm just gonna go down. We'll aim for the negative. I do have to be a little bit careful with these little flies. Just killing an enemy, you know, out of sequence for what I'm after. We don't do gold chest. 
Would I reroll my run? Yes. It's actually not a bad run. So I maybe I should be a little bit cautious. You know, I've got decent damage. Doesn't matter because we're rerolling consumables on the floor. We might as well take the pill. Sure. I would like that bomb as well, but I'd really not like to pick up the coin, but I can't. Let's just do that. And we'll do more of the floor. I will leave pennies on the floor and re-roll them into something else. Hopefully a holy card. A 3 ring might actually be insane as this character now that I think about it. Great fight. Item room holy card, please. Just give me one holy card. Sure. <laughs> I don't really like tech point five that much. It's not bad. It's not great. Uh, please stay away from me. Thank you, Red Fire. Okay, remember little brimstone can fire. Right, I feel like this is a secret room. Lots of money, I'll take it. I would blow you up if I could do, but I can't. Oh, I should not be taking up pennies, I forgot. Three room. You genius. Uh, be careful of the spike rocks. They're not your friends. Uh, flat penny is probably better. Get on the diagonal. Uh, sorry, not the diagonal. Anything but the diagonal. Doesn't help. Right, just stay over rocks and then we're safe. Anytime you feel like giving me a holy card game, I'd be very appreciative. Just fire down here with the brim. Let him do the damage. There we go. Leave the heart. Leave the money. Uh, bombs are good enough for me right now. I do need them. Help me. Holy shit. Oh, a little brim nearly killed me. Okay, we're good. Phew. <laughs> Uh, let me go blow up the statue. I kind of want to go to the shop and see if I can get some value off the coupon. But then I won't get any value from... What's his name? The devil deal or potential devil deal. It is unlikely to be a devil deal. But let me see what's in there. Eh, uh, you know what? Box of Friends isn't the worst thing I could get here. Unfortunately, I think I stick with the coupon right now. Right, I'm going to reroll the floor now. You know what? With two bombs, let maybe try and find the other secret room. Because it could be that room with a full, you know, red hearts. Like eight red hearts or something. And then I can reroll them with the three. Not here. I don't think I'm willing to spend the last bomb. I was pretty certain it was going to be there. It's fine. Take me back to the three. And hopefully we get a holy card. I'll feel a lot better again with another holy card. We will have to peep every room as well, I think, to reset, right? Or maybe not. Uh, okay, give me the penny, give me the key. The red heart does nothing, I don't want a quality. So there's a key up there now. I don't think there's any cards on the floor, in fact. The chest re-rolled, I think, into a bomb. So, the boss trap room is very not worth. Eh, uh, 
show up balls of steel, I'll just keep popping it, even though he does nothing for me. That's a red heart still. It's a penny. Maybe I should have blown up my uh, donation machine. Is that changed? Did that get discounted? I'm so confused. It was restocking the shop before. My mind is melting slightly. Uh, honestly, give me restock. Do I think I'm ever going to use it? No, but I might. If I can get infinite money now, I can buy out the shop. Hard to get infinite money now, though. Right, you're half red heart now. And this is nothing. Okay. And we're fighting Big Ragman. Help me. Holy... I'm trapped in the corner. Little Brim, do some damage, please. Little Brim. Thank you, Little Brim. We'll take perfection. I'll take it, but I'll come back to you. Right, this lets me have this for free. I then steal this. I open this. I am disappointed. One third to Guppy. Becoming Guppy obviously would be pretty big. Would it be run winning? No. Experimental pill. That's fine. X That's negligible. Infested. That's fine. That's Shop bad. Okay. Uh, we'll take perfection forwards, I suppose, and that's it. By the way, restocking uh, the coupon have a bit of an anti synergy because if I use the coupon on the shop, it won't let me re roll it with restock. But I think that's worse still. Again, I'm looking for an early shop if I can so that I can charge up again for a potential devil deal. Also, you know, I wouldn't mind seeing a, a card this one. Any card will do now. But a teleport card could be useful. You know, uh, a holy card even. That'll give me, you know, a holy card so I can play the game. Alright, I see the perk through thing. That's going to freak me out the entire run, so great. I look forward to it. Go perk three. Okay. Split shot the parasite. We're starting to get things that are, you know, good. Have to be careful of you two dweebs. Just in case you come up next to me. Still living. Honestly, if we get a holy card or some way of generating cards, this could be a pretty decent run for the, you know, the, the, the dark pathway. But we need that holy card. Also, wouldn't mind a bit of luck, you know, in finding my uh, chops. Ooh, have to be careful here. Okay, that was excellent play. Don't know why you didn't make a bomb fly then, but sure, I'll take it. Nice purgatory. I could try and use purgatory for a lot of damage, but I don't think that is particularly smart. We'll take a gold cake. Hey, we found the shop. Was this early enough? Probably not. Although maybe we still risk it for a bit yet. We're unlikely to get a devil deal. Okay, never mind. Let's go perfect three. Thank you. Okay, I think we just want out of this floor now as soon as I can. Okay, that's perfect. Literally what I just asked for. 
I could look for a secret room just quickly before I leave. It could be here, but it's unlikely. It could be here. It could also be here. I think this is the last one I'm willing to go on. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, two for three is not bad. Take money, a look up as well. Nice. And then I think we just get out of here. Oh, we tried to. We tried to beat the boss to leave. Get another devil deal, you know, get a free devil deal item. Retrovision, I'm I'm actually tempted to wait for you just to, you know, run off. The game's hard enough as tainted lost without, you know, getting bad pills. I'm waiting. I'm I'm willing to wait. Thank you. Uh, this is a little bit of a spicy scenario. I'm just gonna hide in the corner a second. You know, what you should always do now is just hide in the corner. I don't think you can get behind there. The little ones can though. Okay. Devil deal? Okay, we're incredibly blessed with devil deals. I mean, we should. Right, I have that sucked up now. Coupon is sucked up, so we avoid it's just currently just coupon. What are we looking for now? Libraries. Please stay away from me. I hate you guys. Have I ever mentioned I don't really like you guys? You produce way too many tears. Right, more bombs. Another coin. Even more coins. Okay, all good stuff. Like last floor, we're looking for an early shop if we can get it. I, I wouldn't mind a bomb item. Remember, perk three is a thing as well. I'll do it. Hallelujah. It's a holy card. My prayers have been answered. Thank you, Purgatory. I see where the other one is. I should really aim for those Purgatories. They're pretty good damage. I'm just going to hide on these rocks, if you don't mind. There you go. We definitely should try and blow these guys up, by the way. Potential holy cards. Potential Joker. Honestly, as soon as I charge this, I'm going to Joker, I think. Just focus a second. You moron. You actual moron. You dribbling, dribbling moron. I dodged into a tear. Hey, let's Joker. I've not got it charged. Okay. It was Krampus anyway. Help me. I'm so slow. Uh, I'm not sucking you up. I'm going to take you. Couldn't be a holy card, right? <laughs> okay. So we know what a, a devil deal is. So we don't need it anymore. Just get away from me. Thank you, Purgatory. Alright, blow up skulls again. I think it's a good use of my bombs now. It's such a low percentage play, by the way, that we're making, but... I think it's the one we have to do. Pins. Just stay a mile away from the pin. There we go. Great fight. Don't take me to the devil deal, please. I'll feel stupid. Give me the Empress. And we keep moving. I don't think you can hurt me over here, so I'm just going to sit here. Feel free to give me another card thing. 
What does this do? I'm intrigued. <laughs> The, the run feels cursed right now. Let's make it even more cursed. So I forget me now every time I push the void button. Right? So I have forget me now on cooldown. I like that I mentioned, by the way, that, you know, with this character, I don't really want to do too many rooms. Yet, I have decided that I'm willing to do, redo floors. Right, perfect three go kill this guy for me, please. Thank you. Uh, I mean, I have to buy my stuff now, so I will take you, hive mind. I'd probably take Black Candle, too. See you later. Mmm, spikes. Yes. Right, we fight the boss. Not the boss I was hoping to say, I have to admit. If we think we're gonna get hit, we, we push the button. We didn't get hit, we'll take Hungry Soul. We'll take Black Candle. We'll forget me now. I've generated an R key with danger associated with it. A lot of danger associated with it. Also, now I can't really control when I kill enemies, which is a bit spicy. That's good, right? Why can I never remember items? I've looked this up three times now. Is this the one that... No. I was going to say, is this the one that changes our item rooms to devil deals or something? Treasure rooms are replaced with red treasure rooms, which contain the deal to devil in place of regular item. We want this. I will give up perfection for it. I think this might be better. Holy spice balls. Pin! Holy moly. Just one more holy card. There's a pin in here, is there? No. You know what? I stay here. Hungry Soul does the work. Hungry Soul do my work. Okay. If I can get a holy card... Again. We started to build a run which I, I literally think has legs. Watch out for the homing purple fire. It's here to ruin your day. Help me. I just pinned myself into the corner. Right, I can now forget me now again, but I don't want to. Oh, I nearly walked into blue fire. This is... A spooky little room for me. Yes. Okay. Things are looking rosier. I just need to survive ability. I need some way to survive. Because pin is going to ruin me. One of these two pins is going to kill me eventually. That scared the shit out of me. Okay, up, I'll take it. Like, I'm just gonna get randomly killed by something, aren't I? I can see it now.
But we, we have good damage. Unsurprisingly, you know, I have Mum's knife. I don't know what it does. But sure. Quicker charge. Oh, it's quicker charge, not car battery. What am I talking about? Thank you, perk tree. Or not perk tree. I could steal items in here as well, by the way. With forget me now. I think. Not those ones, though. What is going on? <laughs> How's this working? Dice room. Do I want to re-roll my run? Not the question. That's you want to forget me now, isn't it? Well, let's fight the boss first. I'm willing to take a punt on two skulls as well per bomb. Devil magician. I prefer the devil if you are gonna make me choose one, which you are. I can't believe I said no to perfection, but this trinket is actually crazy. With this character. Jesus Christ. Those purple fires are scaring me. Yeah, we have good damage. Right, take the stapler. Don't walk into the purple fire on the way down, or the blue one. Then, we're going to forget me now again. But this time we're going to use the five room to do it. Don't know why, but that's what we're going to do. Which gives me another Devil Deal item room. Nothing there to steal. We're, we're so close. We're close to something dreamy, I think. Uh, again, I'll trade a bomb two skulls. Not what I wanted. Like, are you seeing what I'm doing to bosses? Yeah, I'll take it. It tears up still. I, I don't respect rooms with fire in them. That just gives me something to run into. <laughs> I don't know what you do. I mean, I do know what you do. But I don't think you do anything to my laser. Uh, my knife. So, I think this is fine. Not a holy card. Uh, world or hangman quest mark? I don't know what hangman quest mark does. Platinum God, what's it do? Lovers, the fool. Where is Hangman? What number are you? Moon, stars, tower, devil, temperance, death. Hangman, you turn into the keeper, gaining a triple shot, minus one speed down for 30 seconds. Enemy drop random coins while this effect is active. Yes. I will turn into the keeper there. That was a, a tricky scenario that just occurred. I'm very happy with how it played out. Right, we've got greed and super greed now. Just want to look for a second. I can get to my secret room, and then there's nothing else on this floor worth exploring. So I should go to the boss, kill the boss, and then forget me now again. I think. Is this the correct play? Or have I just created a perk three for myself? 
Is that all I've done right now? Because I don't gain Devil Deal chance. I'm basically hoping for a 33% Devil Deal every time. Or 40. Right, watch out for fires. I think I've created Purgatory for myself. What I have done, though, is create a way to farm Mum Omega. Because I can keep repeating until I get Mum Omega. And I can put Mum Omega in the... The other slot, because I have the backpack, right? Okay, bomb enemies are probably the scariest things that explode. Because again, I don't have full control over what dies and when it dies. Okay, trade a bomb for a bomb. I can't believe the cage even got a shot off there. Alright, consolation prize. If I push space, do I forget me now? No, it's not infinite. Okay. So I haven't created purgatory for myself. Forget me now is a one use item and then disappears. So it's like Mum Omega. I think I knew that a long time ago. In a galaxy far, far away. Please, red purgatory things. Kill. I'm gonna leave all this on the floor for a second, just in case I can re-roll it. Right, things are still dropping shit. Holy... There's a ghost. I think that might be it. Yeah, I'm not generating money anymore, am I? Okay, if I can re-roll re -roll consumables on the floor, that is potentially really good. Oh, come on! Come on, game! The fucking turret shoots me. I got one holy card that run. What a jip. Oh, what a cheat, sorry. Really need to stop saying that. <sighs> I think I've got enough time to restart a run. Holy God. We'll, we'll go quick. This will be a boss rush attempt. So we'll go fast. Ignore the alt path. <laughs> I hate you. Spend 30 seconds in the first room. Brilliant. Right, who's in here? Flies. Of course there are flies in here. I think I'm safe as long as I'm on the rocks. That proved out to be the case. I'm gonna get hit. There goes my holy mantle. That's fine. Don't run into that fire. That'll kill you. My first item room. Has to be something pretty insane. Otherwise I'm gonna die. It's actually not bad. We're not really what it was after. Oh, it doesn't give you bombs. I thought I'd get five bombs off it. That's one of the reasons I said it wasn't that bad. Okay, that's actually pretty mediocre then. And it's Ragman. <laughs> With his round the world homing shots. Listen, Ragman, I'm against the clock right now. Okay, Ragman, have you considered not splitting your head off for a second? Stay away from him. Bringing his heads back to life! And there he goes. Okay, that's going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Help me out with this purgatory, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.